Mr. Hughes wants to see you. Well, hello. That's Marlon Mabry. What the hell is she doing here? You said you wanted to grow with, with, with the two M's. Yes, Marilyn Monroe. <gasps> As a figure uh, of um, wealth and power in that Hollywood period of 1958 to 1964 that I've set the movie in, um, and with... Um, the freedom that he sort of exercised. It was a, 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 an interesting uh, vantage point to take a look at American sexual uh, puritanism of, uh, that, of, of the late 50s and early 60s. You do know why Baptists think sex is bad, don't you? Because it might lead to dancing. I didn't realize that they had to go through all these classes, you know, etiquette classes and dance classes and vocal classes and everything, because that was the way in which women were kind of bred to become actresses. And I didn't, I didn't realize that. Um, but it was fascinating to learn, and then to to have Warren on set, who was around and and active during that time, was amazing. I mean, it's a total gift because I wasn't, and um, you know, there were very poignant themes that he wanted to touch upon in this movie that without his guidance, Alden and I of being this generation would not have known appropriately how to kind of convey them in a non-caricature way. Maybe I'm not the right girl for this. A movie actress should have big bosoms and be sexy. I mean, in this town, aren't those the rules? You're an exception. The rules don't apply to you. It makes me a lot more thankful for the way that things are moving forward for women. Um, playing a character that so believed she had to abide by these rules to be successful and to see what women did go through back then. It makes me obviously more hopeful now for women, but also it just, it does, it does strike a chord in that now if, if things aren't actively already being pursued out there for women, we can go out there and do it ourselves. I did a film recently where it was a female writer, director, producer, um, some of the grips, the camera women, you know, the sound department, they were all women. and. That wasn't the case in the 1950s, so I feel very hopeful about that. When you told me the rules don't apply to me, he thought for a moment, then he answered. You know, they don't apply to you either. He said the rules don't apply to me.